liquids all ready to go. This is our pre-prep ahead before blood draw to prepare the PRP solution today. All right, so this is the next step for the PRP process. They're going into the centrifuge. Yep. So this first step, there's a two spin method. This is the first spin. They call this the soft spin. It's, it's a lower RPM and lower time. And this is just spinning it enough to get it to separate. So All right, so that's after the first spin. Got the plasma, white blood cell, and then red blood cell. You want to get all the plasma without getting red blood cells. Um, the red blood cells make the injection more inflammatory and painful. So the younger and healthier patient, they can tolerate that a little bit. The older and more frail they are, the more important it is. So I got my centrifuge conical tube. This is where we'll put the plasma. I grab my pipe back. This is like the tricky part. The first part's easy. See, I'm getting some red blood cells, so yeah. I back off. If it flashes red, you back off. All right, so now we're going into our second spin here. That's the four tubes down into one, essentially, with just the platelet-rich component. And yeah, you can get a general sense of the patient's health by plasma volume and plasma color. Bright yellow is better. Some people have like a pale whitish plasma, and sometimes you even see the triglycerides. Mm -hmm. That's not good. So that's looking good right there. I already have this one is pretty weighted, so I counterbalance it. And then this is the hard spin, step two. Because there's that little pellet at the bottom of the platelets. So basically with Paul, I'm going to just discard all this and then save this. And then you, you resuspend this in the solution. And then I told Dr. Tellier, sometimes I save this. Like if I'm doing the hair, I'll, I'll save that and, and use it as a treatment. And I think it's probably a great idea for him to use it injected into his calf. Yeah. So this is the actual platelet-rich plasma. And then you just slowly resuspend it. So I use these needles when I do backs. And then I also just use it um, to load the syringe. There's our finished product. This is the platelet rich. It has all the platelets. So this is like 20 X whole blood, 20 times what your body's naturally able to do. And then this is platelet poor plasma. It has some growth factors and protein, but very low platelets and no red blood cells. So here's where Paul's pain is at. He's got an Achilles tendonitis issue. And so go ahead and point where we're going to inject at. So he's going to get PRP in those locations there. When you do a tendon, you want to hit right where the tendon fibers are connecting onto that bone. So this is the spot. These are um, alcohol based, so you know, the risk of infection as well. So the calf has two muscles they both kind of overlap each other and then they go like this so we can put some into the bellies of these muscles so we've got the area here isolated where he's going to be injected and then we've got to the left here the platelet rich and then the platelet poor which is actually going to go into his calf muscle there. All right. So what I'm going to do is we find that calcaneus 
And then I'm just gonna hold that position while she sprays right next to my thumb. So the first two to three days is going to be extra sore. Um, that's normal. There's an inflammatory response and then it'll kind of go back to baseline. Two to three weeks out, it's going to start feeling better. And usually six weeks, it'll feel its best. Um, for the first three days, you want to avoid submerging it in water. So no hot tub, baths or swimming pools. Um, showers are fine. And then the only thing you can take for relief is Tylenol Extra Strength. You can take 1500 um, twice a day. And then no heat or ice for the first three days. Okay. Any anti-inflammatory supplements, hold off. Okay. And just let the inflammation kick in. Um, and then after three days, you can rotate ice and heat with it. Got it. Okay. Very well. Right on. Thank you. <laughs>